Fresh Kid C, Fresh Kid C, yes, sir. Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back. Oh, and Zafu, by the way. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> yeah. Chitty Bang, and we pretty much amazing. Can we hear your new song, please? I got you. Welcome to Fire Up, Scarborough High School's weekly news program. This is the news for the week of April 13th through April 17th, 2011. I am John Gonzalez, a senior here at Scarborough High School. And I am Brooke Hall, a senior here at Scarborough High School. Let's start off with the weekly announcements for all SHS students. Four of our students are finalists in the Marinag Poetry Festival. They are finalists among hundreds of other students in this region. Wes McNair, the new poet laureate of Maine and a nationally known poet, judged the contest. We are, once again, the school with the most number of finalists. The finalists with, will have their poems published in a book and will read their poems at a festival on May 1st in Freeport. Wes McNair will be there to talk and to present the awards. The finalists are Michelle Thomas, Molly Hayward, Eric Pickett, and Julia Raphael. Interesting. There are many winners of raffle items who have yet to claim their prizes for the Heifer International Fundraising Raffle. If you purchase a raffle ticket, be sure to check the winning no ticket numbers listed in our posters in the cafeteria in the main office. All raffle winners may claim their prizes in the main office this week. Thank you for your support. At the Concert Band Festival held last week, the SHS Symphonic Band and Concert Band were both given the Silver Award. Wind Ensemble gave a great performance and earned gold. Congratulations to all the performers. There will be a mandatory pre-registration session for all students who are planning on taking an AP exam on Tuesday, April 26, during period two in the cafeteria. Students must attend this session to complete their pre-registration information. And here are some dates. Counselors on Wednesday delayed action on a proposed ban on smoking on any town-owned beach. Under the proposal, anyone cited for smoking on the beach would be fined $500. Some counselors questioned the town's ability to enforce such a law. The amendment was introduced after citizens complained that smokers were leaving used cigarette butts on the beaches and that the secondhand smoke was affecting beachgoers' health and ability to enjoy the beach. In other news, members of the High School Environmental Club attended the meeting and several students spoke in favor of the ban. I live right down the street from Pine Point Beach. I go there all the time, club member Patrick Snowden said. I see cigarette butts all over the sand. I see birds going after them, thinking they're food. That may not seem important, but they all live here too. Several other people also spoke in favor of the ban, including a representative from the Healthy Maine Partnership and Anti-Smoking Organization that volunteered to pay for signs and educational campaign for beach users. The council will reconsider the issue at its next meeting. The town council reached consensus Wednesday on a plan to fully demolish the Wentworth Intermediate School and build a new school in its place, rather than maintaining a portion of the school for a community center. And now for the weather. The weather through this Sunday will be Thursday, showers and a high of 61. Friday, partly cloudy and a high of 51. Saturday, there will be a few showers and a high of 54. And Sunday, showers and a high of 57. It's a lot of rain going on, isn't there? Definitely a lot of rain. Thank you for joining us this week for Fire Up. Have, Have a great, great week. week.